we come to Alphaville, which Godard made some 20 years earlier in 1965 as an almost Orwellian nightmare of the future. The film was made in the offices and hotels and streets of Paris and without any special effects at all, managed to create the impression by looking at things from a slightly distorted angle that the city was indeed the city of pain, the capital not of France, but of a remote galaxy many decades into the future. Secret agent Lemmy Caution, played by the leathery-faced Eddie Constantine, is dispatched from Earth to find a missing scientist. Apparently, uh, Harry Dixon, Flash Gordon and Dick Tracy three other famous heroes have already failed. But Lemmy finds that the scientist has settled in Alphaville, which is ruled by a fast computer of his own invention. Here, art has been abolished, love is forbidden, and it's even an offense to weep. But it's not the vision of the future that's so original, it's the style with which the story is accomplished, a mixture that includes bows to Jean Cocteau's poetic film Orphée to Hitchcock, and to the pulp fiction of the American private eye genre. And although it's set in the future, Goddard clearly meant Alphaville to be a commentary on the soulless present, too. It's a complex film that says our culture represses us and our machines of communication have overwhelmed us completely. Goddard hopes a proper humanity will return, but he's under no illusions. It's going to be very difficult if Alphaville is anything to go by. By Jean-Luc Godard in 1965. It's the story of Lemmy Caution, played by Eddie Constantine, a special investigator, galactic traveler, and reporter for Figaro Pravda, who travels to the city of Alphaville in search of the mysterious Professor Von Braun. All this might make it sound a bit like Blade Runner, but it's not. The whole film was shot in black and white in Paris without special effects. Godard was one of the first names of the French New Wave. He also directed Breathless and Weekend. And he creates a really strong science fiction movie out of hotel corridors and tight angles on flashing signs and household objects, like doorknobs and light bulbs. This is not to everyone's taste, of course. And if you're offended by those French movies like Hiroshima Mon Amour or Last Year at Marienbad, where disembodied voices talk about philosophy, you might not like this film. I will confess a predilection for such stuff, however, especially when it's funny, which Alphaville is. Cameraman Raoul Coutard does an amazing job with light and dark and scenes shot through glass and the whole frightening profile of a modern fascist city. The script by Godard is extremely funny and if you pay attention, really makes its own kind of sense. It's interesting to compare Alphaville with The Trial, Orson Welles' Kafka film, which is also part of this season. If I may, at risk of being corrected, point out what appears to be an error in the car department. Lemmy Caution claims he drives a Galaxy, but isn't the car he drives up in at the start a Mustang? Je suis très bien, merci. Je vous en prie. <laughs> 